Yeah, it's your guy, Anthony Fantano, the internet's busiest music nerd. And uh, there's been some wildfire spreading on uh, the Lord's music internet. That would be this uh, new song from an artist, from a creator by the name of Ghostwriter977, who has created a bit of controversy recently uh, with the release of a song titled Heart on My Sleeve. Now, this track currently is being billed as an AI song, an artificial intelligence song, and uh, while I have no doubt there are elements of AI uh, included, involved in the production of this track, and there is legitimate AI music out there, I do encourage anybody watching this video or just people who see this label thrown around on songs here and there to uh, approach the situation with a little bit of skepticism because in my experience covering these types of songs or talking to artists who make these tracks or claim these tracks uh, sometimes will only involve AI in a very particular element of the production of the song. It's not like they're just opening up a program and saying, hey, uh, make me Drake song. And then this track literally just pops out. If it were that easy, we would not just be talking about one track here. Like we would just be counterfeiting dozens and dozens and dozens of Drake songs. But no, for now we have uh, just one track here again, hard on my sleeve. It um, has vocals on it that sound a lot like Drake's and also vocals on it that sound a lot like uh, the weekends. It's kind of like a double feature with the feature. There's a Metro Boomin tag on it too. And uh, fans have not exactly been loyal to Drake in uh, response to this song because since it's been uploaded to streaming services and YouTube, it has netted millions and millions of streams. It's not even been around for a full week from what I understand. And uh, uh, in its short stint of virality, uh, UMG, Universal Music Group, has come through and uh, has kind of kiboshed uh, this thing. Uh, I've seen uploads taken down off YouTube. I have seen, um, you know, uploads taken down or audio removed on Instagram and TikTok. Obviously, this thing is currently uh, not on Spotify at the moment. I'm not here to talk about um, the quality of the track or review the track or anything like that. I think the accuracy of the song to Drake's style and sound speaks for itself. You may have some Drake stands that are like, this song sucks, it's not good. It doesn't sound anywhere near as good as a Drake song. The fact that the song sounds like fucking Drake is proven in the fact that UMG took legal action to sort of like keep it from uh, continuing to spread. If it sounded nothing like Drake and it wasn't convincing as Drake and nobody would rather be listening to this song than, than Drake, UMG wouldn't even care. This is far from like the only Drake parody on the internet and, and that's the thing. It sounds so good, it's not even a parody. It just sounds like a goddamn Drake song. Now, I will say uh, the weakened vocals on the cut um, I wouldn't say they sound artificial, but they don't necessarily come across as sounding like something Abel would sing in this current, you know, era of his career. It's like if current day Drake grabbed a time machine so that he could go back and rap with mixtape era Abel. So, I mean, at least in that respect, uh, the fact that this thing is artificial in a sense is kind of apparent. Uh, I'll say the mix on the beat isn't the best, like that little um, ascending piano sample uh, does seem a little rough around the edges, but I, I do kind of like that loop. But again, look, um, in terms of the beat, the rhythm, the sequencing, the sample, the repetitiveness of it, uh, the lyrics, the flow, the vocal delivery, this thing is accurate as hell. Now again, this ghostwriter individual, creatively speaking, uh, most likely had a lot of input, like, you know, human input into how this song sounds. Some of the pop culture references in the lyrics seem too current and too sharp for uh, some kind of AI to just poop them out casually. The sound of the production seems super conscious too. And on top of that, on this dude's TikTok, uh, there is a comment that he left saying that apparently he was a ghost writer for years. Again, could be lying, could be BS, we don't know, but I imagine experience and familiarity with that world would uh, allow you to make a better 
a better Drake song if you wanted to mimic a Drake song, especially since you have all these vocal AI programs and uh, various voice replication generators online. So there are tons of parodies out there of a variety of mainstream artists already. Uh, very few of them get this kind of response in terms of views, in terms of fandom, and also on top of it, like, you know, record label response, uh, legally speaking. Now, personally, I'm going to bet that a lot of the core creativity of this track did come down to this guy's, you know, personal choices, artistically speaking. But clearly there was some kind of technology employed here to kind of close the gap in order to make this as far as vocals go, uh, sound exactly like a song that Drake would drop this year, could have dropped in the past three years. It's scary accurate, and as somebody who has reviewed one Drake project after another, including that mid-ass song that he just put out, it's on the fucking money. So what does this mean? Where do things go from here? How should we react? I will say in posting this song, I got a lot of responses of people who were angry, saying, don't support this AI stuff. What the hell are you doing? This song isn't even good. And while I get where that concern comes from, uh, by that same token, I can't recall another moment in history where like a major game-changing piece of technology in the music field just like completely went up in flames or was just actively ignored because a bunch of people just like folded their arms in response to it and was like, this is whack. It's totally not cool, dog. Like we're already seeing with how fans are consuming this track, people have no loyalty to Drake. I mean, sure, there are people who are casual Drake listeners and, and they like his stuff and they listen to a Drake song if it comes on, but your average music fan who's just like consuming Drake in the same way that someone consumes Big Macs, like, you know, it's it's just like a, a, a fast food product that is quick and easy and digestible and vibey and we just kind of need our fill when we need our fill of it. Yeah, those people don't give a fuck if the Drake song they're listening to is like AI generated or not. They don't. And on a routine basis in the mainstream, in hip hop, in pop, in beyond, Beyond, we are constantly using technology to elevate mediocrity. We are hit again and again and again with vocals that are so dolled up and so auto-tuned they barely sound human, instrumentals that are super basic, totally artificial, no seasoning to them whatsoever, no texture, choruses that are not only forgettable but barely even feel like choruses because there's no real change or transition into this next part of the song. The typical elements of pop songwriting and production have been broken down and degraded so far you could whip up a hit song in an afternoon. So of course, when your expectations for artistry are just down in the gutter and you make things so easy that uh, just about anybody can do it, you're going to reach a point where a robot's going to do it. And I think that's the crossroad that we're sitting at right now. I think this is a genie out of the bottle situation. I don't think there's an amount of screaming or yelling or freaking out uh, that's going to push it back in. Don't draw attention to it, Anthony. It's already got millions of streams and the labels are lawyering up. Are, are you watching what's happening here? Because when you freak out about that in this case, like what are you even defending or trying to fight against here? Like, are you, are you standing up for uh, authenticity um, for Drake's artistry, like uh, bro already has people write his own shit. We know that. So what does it matter if some other guy or uh, even a bit of AI technology writes his shit for him instead? I mean, if you want to prevent stuff like this from happening, maybe uh, uh, this dude who says he, he used to be a ghostwriter uh, should have been properly paid for his writing and for his shit. Uh, then he wouldn't have to turn around and, and make a fake Drake song for everybody on the internet to freak out about. Even if there was no AI involved, this was just like, you know, all man-made, so on and so forth. If this track dropped and it sounded just like this, exactly the same, everything, uh, people would still be tricked, people would still be freaking out, and the labels would still be lawyering up. So really at the end of the day, what we have here, the issue is essentially uh, that we have a copycatter. I think it's pretty telling that uh, th this, 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 Vocal deepfake is copying that kind of trademark, dejected, very uh, monotone, one-dimensional, half-hearted, just very lazy, laid-back Drake flow that I'm just tired of hearing at this point because it's boring, because it's soulless. He thinks and his fans think it makes him sound cool and cold-blooded, but it's just low effort and uninteresting. Sure, it does hit on some tracks in some context, but it's not like a 6 p.m. in New York type of song where he's really 
going in and getting personal and sounding passion on the mic. This is not a Tuscan leather type of song. It's more of a search and rescue type of track, which in my opinion, that's Drake at his laziest. That is Drake at his most low effort. And if we don't like the idea of robots copying the laziest, most low effort version of Drake, he should try fucking harder. And look, this is not a knock against minimalism or simplicity or the basics of hit songwriting. It's really more of a statement on evolution and creativity and moving forward and taking risks and trying new things. The shining example of that on this song being uh, Abel himself, because it very clearly is not him on the track because Abel has not sounded like this in years. Meanwhile, Drake on this song has sounded like this for years. And when you're stagnating and just throwing out the same crap over and over and over, and for whatever reason that it is, it just continues to hit. Other people are going to find ways to exploit that to their own benefit in the music industry because uh, profiting off of the creativity of others is <laughs> kind of how things work around here. If you haven't noticed... Ultimately, look, I'm not trying to dismiss the concerns of anybody here uh, when it comes to uh, the use and validity of this technology, because I don't like the idea of uh, some of the favorite artists who I love and I think are great and I think are you know amazing uh, getting ripped off by some kind of like AI generated fake song, because I think moving forward, the artists who continue to be the hardest to pigeonhole will be the ones who are hardest to replicate and copy. Meanwhile, this sort of thing believe me, you're going to hear more tracks like this, especially if labels approach this guy with the intentions of like, Hey, how'd you do that? We could just start putting out Drake songs without Drake actually having to be in the studio, which, uh, honestly would not entirely surprise me, uh, given the way these labels act. Hey, just coming in here, got out of the rock climbing gym. I have more, um, thoughts and opinions to add because this story is ongoing and developing. Uh, since I originally shot this video that you're watching, another Drake song, another AI Drake song has been spreading around Instagram. It sounds even more convincing. And on top of it, uh, there has been this like AI Oasis mixtape that has hit YouTube uh, called AI-sis. <laughs> That um, is pretty damn convincing. I mean, the instrumentation from the from what the description says is live and is you know actual real rock instrumentation, but the vocals are AI generated and you know kind of sound like Liam from back in the day, and it's just like scary accurate. Look, with all these AI projects coming out, I guess I want to say this. While I still stand by my comments about uh, this, in a way, being a reflection of how lazy a lot of modern music is in terms of this technology's ability to uh, so easily copy uh, vocals and rapping that we're hearing out there in the mainstream. While that may be true, this stuff is just gonna advance and advance and advance and advance to the point where uh, it's even more difficult to detect. It's already been getting that way with speech. I mean, I know a lot of the, uh, uh, you know, Biden, Trump, Obama, vocal deep fake AI memes that we've been hearing out there of them talking about various topics and so on and so forth, uh, Minecraft and all that. It's funny. It entertains me too. There have been vocal AIs and deep fakes out there of my voice uh, as well, saying things like, oh, this album's amazing and this album uh, sucks. And again, for now, uh, it's funny and it's entertaining, but I feel like we're getting to a point where, you know, artistically, but also personally, we're putting people's safety and uh, private sense of identity at risk with uh, this technology's ability to impersonate people and artists so easily. Look, I don't have a crystal ball and I'm not pretending to be an expert in this stuff or anything like that. Uh, but what I do know is that I feel like there should be some kind of regulation of this stuff. Uh, we're, we're kind of overdue for it. And I'm not just saying that to prevent more AI music from happening, but there are much more destructive and abusive ways this technology could be getting used in the very near future. And I think just letting things play out however they're going to play out or letting this technology exclusively fall into the hands of a handful of corporations, or maybe just one, that, that's all going to be bad news bears. Let me know what you think about all this in the comments. Love you. Mwah. Over here next to my head is another video you can check out. Hit that up or the link to subscribe to the channel. Anthony Fantano, Drake of Forever.